This is uh, really an important occasion for us in terms of our marine program. And while we have this wonderful boat to place in service and a renaming ceremony that we're going to do with christening, it wouldn't have been possible without um, the good fortune and generosity of the San Rafael Fire Foundation. And hey, Jeff, how are you? Good. Jeff Kramer, our Citizen of the Year and also Foundation member and primary donor of uh, the boat we have here and assisted us also with confidence. So um, thank you very much for being here and for the support of the Foundation and the community. And a boat is just a boat without people and I'm thankful to uh, all of you um, that are here that are operators, deckhands, and the ability to place this into service and actually help people. So in a dozen years, we've come a long way. We didn't start with a personal flotation device, and now we've uh, actually made some real strides to have a, a craft that, and vessel that's going to assist us for many years to come. So my thanks and special thanks go to uh, Rob Graham, Jason Schmidt, um, who helped us get this all started, and uh, Chief Hatfield and all of you that have come along the way to embrace the program and the service. So there's a little bit of mystique and um, importance associated with renaming. Um, so I want to go through a couple of things in terms of pleasing Poseidon. And again, this ritual of boat christening ensures that the new boat name is accepted by the nautical gods of the sea. And legend says without one, a boat will be unlucky. So. In the days of ancient mythology, it was widely believed that the Roman king of sea, Neptune, and a Greek ruler of the sea, Poseidon, lived on the floor of the oceans and palaces. These gods of the sea would assure safe passage over the seven seas to all sailors, followed their doctrine, and respected their protocols. Neptune and Poseidon are said to maintain a ledger of the deep that records the name of every seagoing vessel by name. Changing the name of the boat is said to be disrespectful to the sea gods. Boaters that fail to undergo a proper boat naming christening ceremony will be faced with the wrath of Neptune or Poseidon, and a series of mysterious misfortunes would result from disrespecting the gods, such as long periods of foul weather, fires down below, personal injuries or accidents, collisions at sea, and the worst of all, the sinking of a ship. So, Part of this is purging the old name, and uh, so Jason has, I know, taken off all the things that were representative of the old name, and it's important that we do not, in, under any circumstances, carry aboard any items that had the new boat's name until it's properly purged, other than the markings that we've done. So one of the things that we want to do is go through this purging ceremony, and as part of that, I have a metal tag with the old name, and I have our harbor master here, Pat Lopez. Pat, I'm going to donate this to the sea right here, but it's inscribed with an indelible marker pen of the old name of the boat. So, O mighty and great ruler of the seas and oceans, to whom all ships and we who venture upon your vast domain are required to pay homage, we implore you in your graciousness to expunge for all time from your records and recollection the name Liberty, which has ceased to be an entity in your kingdom in San Rafael, as proof thereof, we submit this ingot, bearing her name to be corrupt through your powers and forever purged from the sea. In grateful acknowledgments of your mun munificence and dispensation, we offer these libations to your majesty and court. Pour half the bottle, I can't see going that. <laughs> <laughs> the, may, the remainder may be passed among our guests. How about it? So, uh, there's a, an invocation now in a, a really on the renaming ceremony, part two of this. Almighty and great ruler of the seas and oceans, to whom all ships and who venture upon your vast domain are required to pay homage, implore you in your graciousness to take into your records and recollection this worthy vessel, hereafter for all time known as Fireboat San Rafael, 
guarding her with your mighty arm and trident and ensuring her of safe and rapid passage through her journeys within your realm. In appreciation and in honor of your greatness, we offer these libations to your majesty and your court. assure that there are fair winds and smooth seas for us, and because the four winds are siblings, we want to acknowledge Zephyrus of the west, Boreas of the north, Eurus of the east, and Notus of the south, and we humbly ask for fair winds and smooth seas for Fireboat San Rafael. Finally, we want to christen the name. Dear God, we commend to your gracious care this boat known as Fireboat San Rafael. May your blessings be good on this good craft from bow to stern and starboard to port. Bear her on with favorable winds and weather and deliver her from harm upon these waters. Amen. All right. Cynthia, Jeff, Jason, Mike, join us here. <clears throat> Yeah, well, we want Jason. you because we need to have representation. Don't cut your hand. True. Okay. So we're going to, we're going to break this. Go ahead. Yeah. Jeff, you do the honors. Yes, help yourself. There you go. Harder. There you go. Oh, that was close. That's good. You got it. All right. All right. We christen the fireboat San Rafael, and seeing in the course of our duties, we're set in the midst of many and great dangers, and that we cannot be faithful to the high trust placed in us without the help of Almighty God. Let us pray for his blessing upon the ship and all who will serve in her. Amen. Now we can uncover the name. with the department and station 55 we've got a lemon branch with lemons uh, from our tree there at point san pedro yes, sir. 